freaking pissed. Yep. Doris, patch me through to the general. Yeah, Bill? Yeah, no, I'm here. We got a code M. And no, this is not a drill. Yeah, I see. Nasty looking bastard, ain't he? Don't worry. Chicken's in the basket. Bunch of collateral damage. Come on, zombie. So it begins. Again. How could this happen? The real question is, is how did it not happen sooner? I don't know if that's the real question. One, this whole town is built on a Native American burial site. And two, the Big Yank saltwater taffy factory has been dumping gunk into the ocean for decades. And three, Black Amber Reef has claimed hundreds of ships from the 1700s on, including slavers and pirates. Pirates. Dude, looks like a pirate. Looks like a what? A big ass, mutated, flesh eating pirate. That'd be Miss Evelyn's fourth grade field trip. Sean. What? We gotta get to Sean. You still can't go three seconds without your girlfriend? At least he's loyal. Come on, let's go! Come to daddy. <laughs> Neighborhood watch is in effect. Hot knocker! <laughs> Does anyone's cell work? I can't get any signal. Wait, what about no cell service? Emma, hey. That's what... Oh, it's out of order. It's all right, so is he. Hey, it's Sarah. funny. Hey, hope you guys aren't leaving town. I just heard the bridge collapsed. Along with civilization as we know it. Why do you think it spits out their clothes? Try eating a candy bar with the wrapper still on. Not as tasty. Doc? Think you kids might be just what the doctor ordered. Follow me. You're late for class. Follow me. Doc, I, I just don't get it. It's some sort of magnetic blackout. Cell phones, TV, radio are all shut down. It's like we're being jammed. Jammed indeed. Jammed by evil. And we're the jam. Have a seat, kids. Point Doom has a long tradition of bad luck, children. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've been trying to make this town a spring break destination for years. We'd make South Padre Island look like a truck stop. Condom machines in every room. You're right, Vera. And just like a horse can smell fear, tourists can smell bad energy. It's what keeps the outsiders away, makes us so tight-knit. And while some might find that cozy, others know there are legitimate reasons to stay well far away. <laughs> In a word, yes. The Indian burial ground? Where my own people lie buried under tons of concrete. That's one reason for sure. But Doc, you're Chinese. Seven-eighths. My great-grandfather came over from Canton to build the railroads, fell in love with my great-grandmother who belonged to the Shumash tribe, and settled down here at the point. Check. Other guesses? The old missile silo? True, Sean. Nuclear warheads make good scarecrows. The sunken ships off the coast? And the toxic taffy factory. Yes, uh... Rod. Rod, yes. 
All these things contribute to what is essentially a confluence of very, very bad energy, making our town the ideal point of entry for everything nasty in the world. So why hasn't this happened before? It has. When I was your age, the dock too, we had some troubles. But we handled them locally. No one ever knew. that brine shrimp that's one big shrimp the sea chimpy factory used to operate here sea chimpies kids could purchase live creatures by mail advertised as humanoid but in actuality brine shrimp in stasis it was a rip poured them in a bowl most of them were dead already or died soon after poor buddies every shrimp has its day <laughs> 